I called for a Chevy truck, but has some damage out here to Gunlock Reservoir. I think he's bent both of his tie rods, or at least one of them. So we gotta go out there and kind of do a little trail repair and get him on the road. We've got Tom Tom with us today. Hello, Matt's been home for about 10 hours from his trip and here he is on his first recovery. Not only that, this is the first official recovery of the banana since it has been done. It's not done, but since we got it back from Robbie's, we're just gonna kind of test it out and shake it down, see if it's uh, as good as I remember. I think it's as good. I think it's better, better than you remember. So even though it's not done, it is capable of doing jobs, so we're gonna try it out. See what I did there to get it unbunched? Yeah. So I put it in a little bit higher gear and then used the sprocket to pull it back and unwind it so that happens again. But be careful because those can bunch up in there and crack your face. Okay, enjoy it. Have fun. Yeah, have a good time, guys. All right, so we had to stop and do a little uh, motorcycle repair. We got that handled pretty quick. Got them sent on their way. We're getting real close. How's it going? Oh, just trying to make the most of the day, I guess. You got the keys for it? Uh, yeah, here, I'll give you the keys for it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take them off, we're gonna straighten them out, reinforce okay. them, okay. and then try I'm to get you out of here. Pretty sure it's just that passenger side, but. Okay. Thank you. Yep, thank you. So you can see right here, this is where the, the tie rod bent. We're gonna take that off and we're gonna straighten it and then put a little reinforcing sleeve on it, hopefully, if that works. We're gonna try and then drive it out of here. Show us the bend. Oh, there you go. So we're gonna straighten this back out. This is gonna need to be fixed like right away. This is your tie rod straightener? Part of it. Let's see the straight version. That's good. I don't think you'll even need an alignment. So there it is. This is loose enough. It's not as strong as it would be if it was tight, but we need the motion right here. So we made a compromise. How's the banana performing on its first trip out? I couldn't be happier. It's, it's got a lot of up, upgrades that are pretty obvious. It's got a couple things we need to fix. Like, I don't know what's causing that to bounce, but it bounces. I know what's causing it to bounce like that. Something wrong with it. We'll get Trevor right on that. Do it. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. So if you're wondering what my thoughts are on the banana, on its first job, even though it's not finished, I'll give them to you. First of all, it did the job fine. It drove over here fine. I think that I'm about an inch too high. I think I need to drop it about an inch. There's just a lot of little things that need to be done. Nothing big, nothing that's gonna stop us from doing work. Um, it's still a mountain goat, just like I remembered it. There's some driveline stuff we need to do. There's some electrical stuff we do need to do. There's some interior panels, floor mat, cowl, windshield wipers. <gasps> And there's clouds in the sky. All right. So tell us, Tom, why are we the only ones out working today? We didn't ask anybody else if they wanted to come. We wanted this one all to ourselves. It looked that fun. So it's uh, it's a lazy Sunday. Everybody's kind of on call 24-7. We decided to let the rest of the crew just take it easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to untake the, all this down and then I'm going to reposition up here and we're going to pull this up on and we're going to need a driver. Okay. That's you. Nice. Nice work. 
Nice work. <laughs> so, top 10 Google reviews. Top 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Tell us the story Five again, because I don't know that we caught it. Tell us what happened when you were coming um, through here. Basically, we were driving, and then a car guy came really fast around and got really close, and I think I just overcorrected, not yeah. knowing how steep it was. There we are. And that just kept going? Yep. yep. And then we like, tried to see if we could fix it, and it didn't work. Glad you called us. I hope that wasn't too much work for you. Was oh, that a no. fair trade? I think oh. so. All right. <laughs> really good. I got some great angles. She said it was really good work, so I think you got your money's worth. Okay. Awesome. What so shirt do you want? Whoa! Is this a... That looks very good. It's a little... That looks... Ooh! Oh. Yeah, that's a little... It's dusty. It's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll get them out. <laughs> we got them out. Okay. Well, Enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah? Appreciate you guys rock. Yeah, that was really appreciate you guys. Really quick. Absolutely. So that was a pretty heavy vehicle. You can definitely feel the weight difference in the banana versus the more bear. We got it done. We got them out of there and on their way. We got some help filming from the customer, so that was good. We're just gonna head back and enjoy the rest of our evening. Hopefully, nobody gets stuck the rest of the day. What's the odds of that? 50-50. So we got a call for a truck and trailer that is stuck out to Sand Hollow. I think he broke his front drive shaft, maybe a CV axle. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can get him out. I don't think we we filmed job number two, but we got the other ones. We got Lizzie with the weather in the wrong seat. Yeah, what the heck? It is a nice morning, no wind, it's about 60 degrees, and we'll get him out. We've got Rudy coming out to help us on this one. Um, it's gonna be too big of a job, I think, for just one Cherokee, so we got two. The Morver is getting a new transmission, so it's kind of down for the count right now. But I think we're gonna get it out anyway. Good morning. Hey, Rudy. Hi. What you got there, an exoskeleton? Ah, yeah, it's the cage. Haven't seen that yet, have you? Look at that. All right, follow us. All right. going. It's been a while since we've been working the east side of the lake here. I can't even remember the last time we were here in the sand trap. We're back, baby. The last sand trap job I remember was the Mustang. Don't drive your Mustang down here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. You want to tell me what happened? Well, we're going pretty good. Oh, yeah. Then broke the front CV axle. Oh. So, now we got three wheel drive. Were you guys just heading out or were Yeah, we were just heading out. We were just kinda came in the road for the day. We weren't even camped here. Good morning, how we doing today? Oh, it's just a crazy day. Oh, look. You, you yeah. already got the good parts ripped off for us. Yep, that was last year in the sand. Oh yeah? <laughs> You want to jump in there and get that started up? Right there for you. Do you know which CV axle broke? This one on the right. And is, is it just? It's pretty scratched in there. You can see it right here. It's even leaked out all over. Okay. Yeah, just you're not gonna be able to be able to help much at all, but I'll do something. Okay. Okay. I'll let you just stretch this one out, and then we'll just go together. Got it. Well, we both got new tires on too. That's true. 
So if you don't know it, I'm in this sand, you kind of want your tires mostly worn out. So we're having to be careful not to dig these rigs down with our brand new tires. All right, well that went pretty good. Make it look easy. I was glad it went like that. Yeah, there's a little bit of weight on there. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> Not finished yet, but you get the idea. It looks good. Does it seal nice? Yeah, I like it. You ran, don't even notice. You ran water on it? Well, I haven't finished sealing it yet, but like down the road, there's no air. No like, wind noise, like nothing? Blowing in or nothing. Really? Yeah. So, basically, comes over, latches, and then pulls the whole roof down. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So that's the channel the bar sits in, and I'll be putting a like a gasket seal in there so that it will actually be airtight and watertight. And then I can just put a headliner on this like any regular roof. Thank you very much. Yours. Get him out. <laughs> Go out. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. All right, so we got there. I'm glad we had Rudy. We were able to hook up and just do almost a dead pull. I don't think we did much kinetic there at all. <laughs> it is allergy season here in the desert southwest. I'm going to be paying for this for a couple days. So we got another call for a truck and a trailer that is stuck in the sand out to Sand Hollow. They're pretty close to where the last one was, so they're on the east side of the lake. We're going to head out there, see if we can get them out. We got Lizzie with the weather. It's a nice day, a little bit windy, about 65 degrees, a little bit clouds in the sky, but follow along for the ride. Got Michael back there and Colin. Uh, I've been ridden in the banana in like five months, so I'm honestly just here for the ride. We'll see if we can get them out. So, I was gonna go for that spot, getting excited getting here. I didn't even think about airing down, and then as soon as I hit that patch, I slowed down to look at the corner, and then whoop, that was it. So, you can drive out that way, but you're gonna get scratches. There's yeah. some places you can get yeah, you down closer them. over there. Oh, okay, okay. Do we wanna do a bridle? Um, no, let's just go to this side. You have the keys for the vehicle. Yeah. Okay, so and I'm gonna then, uh, want I'm gonna want you back a ways. Okay. To, so either back here on this side or yeah, put it back over there. Okay. I'm gonna head down this way, but that's only to get you where I'm at. <laughs> and then we're and then we're going then we're gonna go out that way. So you might as well get in, because we've got a quarter mile to go to get to the road. There's some big sand pit. Okay. Yeah, he's let quite a bit of air out of his tires, and that's helping a ton. So we got there. I'm glad we pulled them out to the road. I just didn't want them to have to call for us to come back and get them out of that situation. It's pretty tight in there with a the trailer anyway, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Pulled them out nice and easy. I put the diff lock on the rear axle, so that helped a little bit. And I think I could have made it out with some speed on its own, but it was glad to have the, the banana back and in front of me. Thanks for watching.